Commission of Inquiry on Drug Trafficking 2018 had among its uh, recommendations proposed that the codeine phosphate program be stopped since it is not evidence-based in the treatment of people who use drugs. I'm informed that codeine-based treatment is not recommended in international guidelines, researchers for community-based opioid detoxification. For example, the, NICE, uh, the National Institute for Health and Care Excellence guidelines, United Kingdom, the Department of Health guidelines, United Kingdom, the Maudsley guidelines, UK, the World Health Organization, the LEADS study, the meta-analysis by Carney. So all these uh, institutions, they don't uh, advise use of, method, uh, the use of codeine phosphate. Mr. Speaker, sir, in the above context, my ministry informed non-governmental organizations concerned that uh, the codeine phosphate program is being stopped and advised them to redirect their beneficiaries, if any, to addiction units and methadone daycare centers. Currently, Medical health officers attend to patients at NGOs in order to assess them, tailor treatment with respect to their needs, and offer counseling to the patients and their families. Mr. Speaker, sir, the alternative medicines available for opioid detoxification in place of codeine phosphate or methadone, buprenorphine, naltrexone, which are evidence-based and recommended by international organizations. Mr. Speaker, sir, the methadone substitu tissue substitution therapy, the, the opioid substitution therapy involves the substitution of injecting opioid drugs with oral medication that effectively minimizes craving and withdrawal symptoms, thereby enabling people who inject drugs to stop injecting drugs in Mauritius, it is the methadone substitution therapy. The heroin detoxification is carried out using reduced doses of suboxone over a two-week period to help people with heroin dependence to achieve a drug-free lifestyle. Mr. Speaker, sir, uh, uh, over and above the treatment provided, psychosocial care is provided to complement the pharmacological management offered by specialist doctors and their multidisciplinary team guided by evidence-based treatment and international best practices. Mr. Speaker, sir, I wish to reassure the House that my ministry is fully committed to ensure that adequate treatment is offered to patients to suit their individual needs and to rehabilitate them.